Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. In today's tutorial, we're going to be doing the soul symbol for September. I personally can't believe that we're already in September. This is just crazy. This year has just gone by so quickly. Um, but here we are, we're into September and I'm going to be doing the soul symbol for that. So I started off with a precasted stone that I received the mold from the Happy Dot and Company. If you'd like to uh, get one of your own or of any of the other molds that she has available, I have listed a link in the description below to her Etsy shop. Definitely go check her out. Um, she's got some amazing uh, different shapes and candle holders and pen holders. It's just, she's got some amazing things there. So definitely go and check her out. Um, and I'm using... Uh, my finger sponges today as well as I will be using my uh, blending brushes but um, I really wanted to get some good coverage on uh, my stone quickly so that's why I'm using my finger sponges. I find they work a little bit better when doing this kind of an application in such a large space. So um, I'm using a dark blue color because the birthstone for September is sapphire. So I didn't actually have a paint that was called Sapphire, but I ended up using one called Midnight Blue and it was perfect. It just uh, ended up being uh, quite the, the uh, resemblance of a Sapphire and I loved how it blended and went from this really light color in the center and then moved its way out to its natural color from the bottle uh, out to the edges. Uh, blended very nicely. I was very impressed. Uh, so all I've done in order to get this lighter color in the center is I've just added a little bit of white. So I have uh, put the pure color right out of the bottle all over the stone except for in the center and then I used a different finger sponge to apply the white and let it blend by grabbing up some of that wet paint from the dark blue and uh, that's what's created the light blue in the center. And I just worked my way from the center out to the edge. And then um, I lost some of my, my dark blue color by doing the, all the blending. So that's why I'm just adding an extra ring around and then I'll blend that in as well. I also use my blending brush a little bit later to do the same thing because um, I, get, I sometimes get too carried away with my blending and uh, I end up losing a lot of what I didn't want to lose so I have to go back and repaint it but um, it's all part of the process and uh, you can blend as much or as little as you want this is totally up to you. It all depends on the effect that you're trying to achieve so sometimes uh, in some of my other paintings I don't blend as much because I'm not looking for uh, the smooth transition of light to dark. Sometimes, especially when you're painting clouds, uh, you want to have that definition of an edge. So uh, I don't tend to blend as much with that. So um, it all depends on the effect that you're trying to achieve and um, on how much you blend. So uh, I know I'm getting uh, close to the end of my blending here. Uh, I just kept doing the uh, the light and the dark and uh, until I was satisfied with how it blended out and um, again like I said you don't have to do as much as I do or you can do as little or even more it's totally up to you now all the colors that I do use in this tutorial today will be listed in the description below so I will list the brand names and I will list the colors of that uh, paint that I use so totally up to you if you want to use the same ones um, this is just suggestion so if you really want to uh, maybe change this up go right ahead use what you've got in your stash uh, that's what I do um, now I will admit I have treated myself to a couple of new bottles of paint that one of them I will be using uh, in this tutorial and I just it was beautiful it's a metallic paint I've I've purchased a, a few different metallic paints and I just want to give them a try. So I'm really excited about how this one turned out. And I also did two, like I always do with, um, uh, with my soul symbols. So I've painted one 
uh, on camera and I've painted one off camera. So I will show the both at the end of this video, but I did video the second one. So if you like the second one and you want to see the tutorial on that one, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely get that one posted up for you. Um, they're both the same, but different. <laughs> if you know what I mean, well, you'll see at the end. Um, so here I am, I'm just using my blending brush. Again, I lost that, uh, that dark pure color. So I just used a, uh, a fine lining brush and put on a circle around the edges. And then I'm just blending that in just so that I get that dark definition. Now I'm just painting on uh, black paint because I primed my rock with white and I've been doing that a lot lately because I find that some colors on a black background they get sort of absorbed by the black and you don't really see them very well where the white it really pops so I've decided that I now prime all my rocks white and then if I want a black background then this is what I do. So I'm just taking um, a brush and I'm just going around the edges and I paint the entire rock that is not already painted. So that means the sides, the back, all of that. Um, I won't show you all that stuff, but um, that's what I do. And then uh, I want to get some glitter onto here because this is a gem and we really want it to shine. So I'm just putting on, um, it's called a... Uh, starlight top coat it's soft glittering top coat so it's like a varnish so it does um, end up uh, drying shiny as well as uh, with all the glitter in it so when you change the, the lighting or you move the rock you can actually see the glitter in it it's so beautiful so I put that on and the nice thing with that is then when I do draw my um, when I draw my design on there uh, it's easier to remove as well because it is a varnish so um, it doesn't embed into the rock where sometimes I find if I get a little bit too excited and I start drawing on something that hasn't completely dried I get these little indents in the paint so uh, just be mindful of that but I've also found that uh, if you do end up with the indents and you do a resin coat it covers it up so Either way, I guess, um, if it does happen by an accident, uh, don't get too upset about it because once you do your resin over top of it, uh, it fills it in and you don't see it anymore. So it's all good. Now I'm just sort of doing the uh, frame around the gem uh, using my gold paint and I just do a very thin line all the way around and uh, that just sort of separates it from the black and the dark black. Uh, blue and um, just frames it up really nice. So here I am, uh, I'm drawing on my design and I've already done it with um, my General's Charcoal Pencil but I found that I couldn't see it very well so I'm going over it again with pencil just very lightly and uh, just giving myself my design that I want to do. Um, and it's just going to be a silhouette and I guess now is a good time to tell you that uh, the soul symbol for September is a flower. So a flower for the soul symbol means you are someone who has a very innocent and beautiful heart and no matter where you go you spread a lot of happiness and joy. So it didn't really say what kind of flower so I thought let's get a little bit artsy with it and I didn't really have a kind of flower in mind. I just put on some petals and just made it look good. Um, there I made a mistake there and I just used a dampened q-tip to erase the um, black paint that I didn't want there that was and it was still wet so it was easy to get rid of um, so yeah so it kind of started off like a, a lotus flower and then the bottom petals kind of spread out and I was just I don't know I, I was just going with the flow I had nothing really particular in mind but um, I just wanted to do something fun and um, different, I guess. So this is my version of a flower. If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up to let me know that you like it. 
and make sure you subscribe. Uh, the more subscribers I have, the more content I can bring and ring that bell. So that way you get a notification every time I post something new. I do try to post a new video every Friday, um, but sometimes I'll throw in the odd one during the week as well. So if you don't want to miss out on anything, make sure that uh, you ring that bell. So now that I have the design already painted, just the outline, I want to go and put in a little bit extra detail. So I want to thicken up the lines, uh, give them a little bit more of a point, um, and uh, get rid of the some of the rounded edges that I had on there, and uh, just make it more defined. Um, originally, I wanted to keep the petals separated by leaving the blue in between, but I changed my mind once I got painting that I wanted them to be connected. And uh, then I obviously I just painted in the uh, the center so that I could connect the other petals around it. And I really like how it turned out. Let me know in the comments below if you liked how it did, um, if you liked how it was originally uh, before I started making the lines thicker and filling them in, or if you like it this way better. Um, either way, it's all about creativity and uh, whatever goes from your mind down your arm into the paintbrush, that's what counts. Um, art is art and it's all about expression. There's no right or wrong. And I think that's why I love doing art so much and doing the painting because there is no right or wrong. And it's all about your own interpretation on what you're painting. So um, I'd also love to see if you've tried this. Uh, you can go over to my Facebook page and um, post on there to let me know. Um, or to show me uh, your rendition of the September flower uh, and what you did. If you did it on a rock or if you did it on um, wood or canvas, I'd be really interested to see um, because it's just when you see somebody else's artwork based on what you've taught, it's the, the biggest compliment you can ever get. So uh, I would love to see uh, your rendition if you decided to try this. I really like how I left the center of the petals uh, open because you can then still see the gradation of the light going down to the dark of the jewel behind it. So I'm glad that I did that. Uh, now what I'm doing is I'm just putting on those little uh, light bloops um, that's to give the resemblance that it is like glass or it's reflecting light somehow. Very easy to do. And I just use uh, white paint on this. And now I'm going to be doing the uh, border. So what I'm using here is the um, template that I got from the Happy Dotting Company. It's a silicone mat and she sells them individually to fit the size of rocks that she sells for the molds. So um, I believe she's got some that are like uh, bundles put together that come with them. Anyways, they're amazing, they're great. They um, fit so nicely over top of the rock and really easy to, to use. So here I'm just putting on some dots. So I had mentioned earlier, I bought some new paint. So that metallic blue that is on there that is uh, metallic sapphire and uh, it's beautiful. It's one of my new favorite paints. Um, actually, any of my new paints are my new favorite paints. <laughs> um, but anyways, so I just put uh, one of those as a big dot. Um, every other tick mark that I put on there and then I put a white one on um, in between those. And now I'm just walking the dots. So I'm using white and you load your tool, put a dot at the bottom, walk your way up without reloading and the paint comes off and it creates smaller dots as you go around. So it does it naturally. You don't have to reload your, your tool. It's a really easy effect to do and it makes it look so pretty. So now do, I'm doing gold around the, the white dots just to incorporate all of the colors that I've used and I do this all the way around as well. Once that's completed, then I add a dot of triple thick on the white dots because I've got to add my bling bling. 
So I have some sapphire gems that I want to put on there. So I put them on the white dots and the white dot actually frames the gem itself. And I do that all the way around. And then I do one in the center of the flower. So there you have it, folks. Life is what you make it. So get creative.